Hello and welcome to the King's Home. Today we're going to make the soda, cornstarch, ornaments, gift tags, air fresheners. Yeah, you can put them into air fresheners like your lockers, small closets, and they just make up so pretty. You can use them all through the year. We also make keepsakes of the little footprints and handprints. On the one side, you can see the snow white. Those are the ones we're making. The other ones are the salt dough. And we made all different shapes and sizes for all different seasons. We can keep these for a very long time as long as they keep dry. As far as the little footprints and handprints, you want to make sure that you press their little foot or hand in deep and you can see the even the little creases of her little foot. I'm so glad that you could join us today at King's Create where we do crafts, recipe, and just a little bit of travel. So here's the simple recipe. Three things, cornstarch, baking soda, and water. And it doesn't matter what type of cornstarch you use, I just use the cheap brand. And as far as the baking soda here again, just the cheap brand. And you're going to put all this onto your stove, medium heat, in a heavy saucepan. When you first put it all together, it's kind of clumpy and you just want to keep stirring. As the heat gets to it, it'll start to smooth out. Now it's real important that you keep stirring this because it's going to thicken up pretty quickly. It only takes like one or two minutes and it's going to start to get lumps. And you don't want the lumps, so you want to stir a little bit faster and just keep stirring. It's not difficult, not at all. Just keep stirring and stirring and you can see how it's really thickening up here. And you definitely don't want it to stick to the bottom. So when you get it to this point, this is when you're done and you can remove it from the heat. So I transfer it to a glass bowl and you want to put water in that saucepan right away because it's going to be a mess if you don't. So once you have it in your glass bowl, this is when you can add um, essential oil to it. Now I put peppermint, you can put lavender, I have all types of essential oils and that's what makes your air fresheners. And it only takes about six to 10 drops into this batch and just mix it around until it's nice and even. And now it's important that you put these into Ziploc bags because this stuff will dry out pretty quickly and that you don't want. You can use all types of cookie cutters, stamps, lace, seashells, and you're gonna see as we go through. You're also gonna to need toothpicks or really small cookie cutters. And that's for the holes to hang them wax paper down onto your cookie sheets, some more cornstarch so that you can roll this out. And my least favorite part is you have to knead it. You have to get all those air bubbles kind of out of it. And it doesn't take very long, just a couple of minutes, just to get it all nice and smooth together. Put your cornstarch down on your wax paper and flatten it out with your hand or a rolling pin. And now you're gonna get one of your cookie cutters Press it down in tight, and you only want it to be like maybe a quarter inch, half an inch, and then you want to put that back into your bag so that you can keep it, because it will dry out quickly. Now I'm making the little holes. I just I found these wee little tiny cookie cutters, which just was perfect for these. And you can use all types of things to make imprints in it. Of course, buttons or shells. And you can see I put it one way with the shell and then turned it over to get the actual little creases. And sometimes the buttons or whatever will stick because they're small. Just take your toothpick and just kind of pry up on it and it'll come right up out. Now I used some stamps but they weren't really thick enough to really make the impressions well. But the lace worked beautiful. It was a beautiful thing for that. And then you want to make sure that you put your hole in to the top so that you can hang them. Here's another one of my seashells, a different type. But I couldn't really get all of the lines, so I took a toothpick and tried to impress a little bit more to really get those shapes. And don't be tempted to use these hard, dry pieces. Just toss them away. you got more than enough to use. Now these were a different type of cookie cutters, so I had to put those in, dip them in cornstarch so that they wouldn't stick so much. And I also had to make them a little bit thicker. They was probably a half inch because they're a little bit 
delicate designs. Now with the footprints and the handprints, we just made like round disc and then just had her put her little foot or her little hand right on top of it. It was so much fun that day. And don't be worried if it's not perfectly round. Once they're dry, you can sand all of this. You'd be surprised how hard they are. So to let them dry, I let them air dry. And I just put them onto the cookie sheet, onto a piece of wax paper, turn them like the next day. You can also put them in the oven, but we didn't. And it makes about 18 of them. You saw where I had that. With these little footprints, we made only about four with that dose. Now I use just the acrylic paints and you have to water it down. So I use just like a little paper bowl or a paper plate, get a little thin paintbrush. I didn't want the colors to be really bright, so I watered it down a little bit just to make it like a watercolor almost. And it doesn't take very much water. It'll really thin out quickly, but I wanted it to be more of a pastel color. And then you put your strings or your yarn into them. And you can see how beautiful they make. And the, oh, the aroma was just beautiful. You can use them for gift tags. And with these, you can actually use a magic marker. And you can mark any message on the back of them. You can hang them on your trees, your holiday trees, your Valentine trees. And of course, you have these beautiful keepsakes. Which will last for years. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.